Hey guys, my name is Gloria and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a bit of a writing video for you. So last year uh, I decided to sign up for the Masterclass series. I, I got a subscription to masterclass.com which is a site that um, gets actual masters um, to give lessons on their area of expertise. There are great musicians on here, great dancers. Uh, Gordon Ramsay teaches some cooking classes and we also have a lot of writers as well. So the ones that I, I know of, that I've read, are Neil Gaiman, there's also R.L. Stein, there's Judy Bloom, I think Brian Sa Brandon Sanderson is on here as well but I haven't, um, I haven't read any of his stuff but I'll still be giving his class a go. And they all do uh, master class courses on writing and whichever certain aspects of writing they want to cover. So I thought that I would actually use my subscription before it runs out and I would give each of them a go and do a review of each course and see what I can learn, see which one's the best, um, see if I learned anything uh, that I wasn't expecting to learn. I. I mainly got it for the Neil Gaiman one. Um, I haven't, I've only read like two books of his and a couple of short stories but I do really like his uh, videos. Um, there's a lot of free videos, a lot of speeches he's done, a lot of advice that he just gives away freely. I actually saw him talk um, when I was in UCD. He came to accept an award there and I got to see him talk. That was really cool. Um, but he gives away a lot of free advice so I'm going to see if there's anything in here that you wouldn't necessarily get on those classes that makes it worth the money um, and hopefully get a little bit of motivation. Um, the reason I paid for this, the, the subscription is uh, 200 euro which is a lot of money but I was manic, I wanted to to get into writing again. It didn't help me at the time but I have for a year so I'm gonna get some use out of it and I only wanted Neil Gaiman's originally but the other writers are there so I may as well check them out too. I did start watching these but I was sort of, I wasn't in the right frame of mind to properly take notes and properly absorb the information that I was getting. So I'm going to restart. Uh, there are about 20... There are 19. Um, 19 little sections, little classes. They're each about 10 minutes long or so. He does stuff regarding inspiration, finding your voice. He talks about short fiction, he talks about dialogue, world building genre. He also talks about comics because he obviously did Sandman, uh, writer's book, editing and the last one is writer's responsibility. So I'm going to go through and see what I can learn and uh, possibly give others an idea of whether they want to actually spend the money to uh, see any of these classes but we'll see what we can learn from Neil Gaiman first of all.
Hello, so time has passed and I've changed my jumper. Um, I didn't do the entire class in one go because it was a little bit um, stuff you had to digest um, about writing and about inspiration and about <clears throat> uh, the best ways to get stories out of yourself. <clears throat> what is wrong with my throat? So, so far the uh, the Neil Gaiman course is very much aimed at beginner writers. He calls them young writers, but obviously we know that you don't have to be young to just be starting out in writing. Um, but his advice very much is for people who are just beginning, trying to get stuff done, trying to get stories finished, and trying to find their voice, trying to find what they really want to write about. Um, I'm a little bit further on than that myself in writing but I'm still taking a lot of um, inspiration from it, motivation. Um, there's still definitely things that um, you need to brush up on again and need to, it's good to hear and good to repeat to yourself. So far um, he's talked about using your own experiences in fiction and how some of the best stories out there are in some way based on the writer's real life and on some sort of thing they went through, some sort of grief, some sort of heartache or something, um, even if it is a fantastical story about demons and angels or monsters or whatever it is. He's even given a few um, little writing exercises, there's an interesting one he was talking about, Snow White. I think he might have done a retelling of Snow White, um, but he said that he began it by thinking of what kind of a girl would actually have uh, porcelain white skin and red lips and be able to sleep for a year and not die at the end. Um, and it turned into a, a vampire Snow White, so that was interesting to hear and then it sort of gets you thinking about other stories that everyone knows, that everyone sort of owns, um, fairy tales or folk tales or whatever that you could sort of experiment with or turn on their head and really examine what's going on in the story and what you can do with it, um, which is interesting for me because I've recently heard of a lot of Irish myths and tales that I hadn't heard of before, um, so it'd be interesting to do some writing on those. There's also, specifically, he talked about short stories and what is needed to be, to make a good short story. He also did a couple of case studies of his own writing um, for the Graveyard Book and for a couple of uh, sort of flash fictions that he wrote. Um, it's very interesting to see exactly what his thinking was behind going into these stories and where he expected them to go, where they ended up going. So, so far I, I really like it. Uh, it's very, he's a very good speech giver. He's very good at um, engaging the listener and bringing his weird fantasy centric mind into um, explaining things. So. I think it would be fun to have him as a creative writing teacher. He does say that he's taught in uh, Bard University, wherever that is, um, but it would be fun to uh, be in one of those classes. But I'm going to go on and finish the rest of the course now uh, and we are getting into dialogue and character and then he's going to do a character case study on October Tales. So, Let's get into that. So people talk when writing fiction about character, and they talk about dialogue, they talk about them as if they're two different things. And they are two different things, but they're two different things that actually amount to the same thing. And they're like the, the two legs the character needs in order to walk. So in the next class, we're going to talk about character and dialogue and what they are and how incredibly tightly interwoven they can be.
And so, more time has passed. Uh, so I did finish the Neil Gaiman Masterclass last night. Um, it's taken me a few days. I think I might have started it on Sunday evening, maybe Monday. And initially I had sort of planned on just bombing through the whole thing, but uh, I had other things to do. And I also think it's, it's better not to uh, just binge these kind of classes because it does take some digesting, it takes some reflecting, and it takes some considering of your own writing and where you want to go with it, what you need to do with it at this moment in time. So overall, uh, I really enjoyed the Neil Gaiman class. Um, I think he's, he's a great speech giver. I think he's very accessible from f the very young to the very old. Um, I think he would be a fun teacher to have. He seems very laid back, very very chill, very happy, very in love with the craft itself and in love with the process of writing. Um, so I think if, if you're down at all on any type of writing that you're doing, if you're sort of falling out of love with it and you're just sort of sick of it. I think looking up uh, some of his advice, uh, there's plenty of YouTube videos and speeches he's done um, giving advice on writing and he, I think he he kind of pulls you back into it, he, he draws you back into it. Um, so the actual content of his classes um, is, it's got a nice um, sort of romantic feel to it but he does get down to the grittier aspects of it, the actual work of writing. He does talk about uh, he does talk about developing story, he talks about description, he talks about uh, character and dialogue and how those two things are completely entwined with each other. He talks about the more sort of elusive things as well such as finding your voice and finding inspiration and stuff which as much as you can't really teach someone how to do that totally, um, I think he has some great advice on that. I think he has some great advice on um, fantasy in particular, but it's stuff that can be used in any kind of fiction as well. Uh, advice on world building and advice on humour. Uh, I personally like to see humour in all kinds of stories that I read, even the harshest uh, horror stories. I think humour is a great little little thing to add in there. Um, he does a couple of case studies of his own writing and you don't need to have read them before because I hadn't. Um, he talks about the graveyard story and or the graveyard book and the ocean at the end of the lane uh, which I have not read but I would like to read now and he he uses extracts from those and speaks specifically about what he wanted to achieve with the writing what he had to do to achieve that and why that particular piece worked for what he was trying to do. Um, so it's, you can say things like show don't tell and you can you can give all this advice but it's really effective to actually have extracts that you can show people for exactly what you mean. I'm just kidding, what? What do you want? Okay. I was rudely interrupted. For me, a lot of it was stuff that I already knew before. Um, he definitely emphasizes the fact that there are really no rules in writing, bar the sort of basics, and that you should learn those rules um, in order to break them. I definitely think you can do anything with writing, but it should sort of be purposeful. It should be used in a way to better tell whatever story you're using. Um, he does... He talks a little bit about writing block, but that again is something personally gives some advice on dealing with that. Um, advice on editing, that's sort of generic. Um, he has some rules for writers that he has taken from other writers as well and has implemented himself, which is basically to write, to finish writing, to send stuff out into the world and to move on to the next thing. Uh, sounds very simple, but for a lot of us, 
finishing things is very difficult, but I do have a short story that I've been working on for a couple of weeks and using a lot of his advice I'm going to get that done today. I swear to God. So overall I really like Neil Gaiman's class. I think his is a great mix of motivation and inspiration and getting you to kind of fall in love with storytelling. Um, he, he did have a specific one on uh, comic books as well which was interesting but I'm not really interested in comic books or graphic novels writing them myself so that was just sort of an interesting little tidbit for me. Uh, but it is a mix of really getting you into, getting you excited about writing and also giving you specific tools that you can use to make your writing better, to draw better stories from your own head as well. Um, so I really liked it. Uh, he does talk a lot about young writers, new writers, um, people coming to it uh, completely fresh and not knowing where to start. I think it is more of a beginner course but I, I've definitely needed reminding of some of these things and I needed to uh, reiterate them for myself so I think anyone could really enjoy this course um, and still get some value out of it. Is it worth the 200 euro year subscription that you have to pay up front? Uh, by itself no because he does so much outside of or not behind paywalls and stuff. Um, I think you can get 90% of this information from Neil Gaiman himself on YouTube and all over the internet so I wouldn't go buying it specifically for that uh, although that's why I did it in the first place but I'm going to take a look at the other writers. Um, I'll actually put a list up here of the other writers that are on Masterclass, the other novelists and fiction writers and I'm going to go through all of these and review them all and see which one's best, which ones maybe aren't so great. Um, so if you would like to see me review any of these people's uh, Masterclasses, you can leave a comment down below, tell me which one you would like me to get into next. I've read a couple of them, um, so I've read Judy Bloom, I've read Arl Stein, I've read a few of Joyce Carl Oates, but the rest I haven't really read, um, but I'm sure I can still learn something from them as writers. So I'm glad, I'm glad I, I finally got through that, I'm glad I'm finally using this subscription that I paid a ridiculous amount of money for. Um, so yeah, let me know which one you would like me to do next. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. If you like what I'm doing here, you can like and subscribe down below. I will have more booktube content, more authortube content coming up very soon. And I shall see you in the next video.